Hey there, YouTube! Daryl back with you again for another episode of Daryl's Vape Tape. So today, we're not going to be doing a full review today. Um, I wanted to do about a two and a half, three week follow up. Um, and we're going to be doing a follow up on the X Cube 2 and the TFE 4. We're mainly doing the follow up for the two paired together. So I just want to start off and say that this kit by far you know maybe the best kit on the market right now um you know it, it could be a starter kit if you wanted if you wanted to buy a kit and not ever have to buy a kit ever again um you know this might be the kit for you i mean the mod you can upgrade it so you know right now i got it upgraded it started out at 160 watts now it's 180 watt um you know it handles all different types of coils it, it's just a phenomenal mod. I really like everything about it. It's a really versatile. You can do a lot of different things with it. Um, and to say about the TFE4, I mean, it, there's nothing else to say about it. It's just a fantastic tank. I, I've had no issues off of it. Um, they've done a couple improvements off of the first TFE4 that I had from the Black Edition, and they've done great. I've had no problems with you know any of the any of the O rings inside of it. The new glass tip they put on it is phenomenal. I mean, everything about this this kit, you know, the tank and mod paired together is absolutely phenomenal. I, I just love everything about it. So um, I'm going to take a couple puffs on it real quick, um, show you guys how it performs, and just show you guys what I'm talking about. I mean, right now I'm running... 100 watts i got the mod set on its max setting which is a rev up process so you know instead of you know juicing it up and you know going to 100 watts and going very slowly this is going to max it out it's going to go probably 90 watts and straight to 100 watts so it's a it's a ramp up process and i really like that aspect on the mod side of it it just i, I like having the hit straight off it makes more of a smooth level hit um the same watt as the whole hit through and i, I really like that um and i'm running one of the quad coils in here I'm running a 0.16 on the resistance and uh, looks like I'm running about 4.2 volts and I mean it just performs it's just it's just great I mean there's nothing really else to say about it it just performs fantastic I mean the clouds you get off this thing are you can't touch the clouds you get off this with any other sub ohm tank um, you know the flavor the flavor is great no dry hits, anything like that. Even when I'm running, you know, 100 plus watts, no dry hits, nothing like that. Um, I have tried all the coils for the TFE4. Um, so, you know, I'll try to rattle those off real quick. You got the quad four, the triple, um, you got the Clapton coil, the six tuple coil, the nickel, the titanium, and then they just came out a couple weeks ago um, with a whole different line it's called like the triple air and, and what that means is it just got more airflow in it um, I can't say that I don't really like the new airflow ones um, it's just a little too much air I, I lose out on the flavor just because it's got too much um, but I w in, in my opinion I think the quad four is probably the best coil the flavor is great and you can really ramp up the watts a lot so I really like that so um, but you know without any further ado if you guys are looking to buy this kit um, you're looking at the mod you're looking at 60 bucks and with the full kit on the tank you're looking at 30 bucks with a single kit edition um, which comes with a little less things it comes with just a vape band the coil installed and that's all you get with it it's it's about 20 bucks so I mean if you guys are looking to get an awesome kit for under 100 bucks take a look at the smock x cube 2 and the smock tfe4 they're just fantastic I really like it um, you know, I was looking on the website there, and, and they uh, they have this labeled as the cloud machine when you pair these two together. And I just have to second that motion. I mean, the tank and mod together, they just they perform fantastic, and they perform better when they're paired together. I do believe. I know I run the TFE4 on the on the Snow Wolf, and uh, you know my DNA 200, and, and it performs great. I mean, especially the DNA 200. I have nothing bad to say about it. But these two together, they I mean, the look is great, and then you know the performance is is bar none so um you know i hope you guys enjoyed the video i just wanted to do a quick follow-up today i didn't want to do a full review so if you guys like this video make sure you guys subscribe i got a ton more videos coming out and if you guys like the video at any given time make sure you guys give me a big fat thumbs up you know but besides that i'm going to close the video out with a vape um and you guys have a great day and uh thanks a bunch